Hi, my name is Lisa. And I'm Shayla. And today, we're going to be teaching you how to paint these cats using watercolors. For a full list of everything you need to get started, be sure to check out the video description below. And be sure to also hit subscribe if you want to watch other videos just like this one. And hit the like button if you had fun painting with us. Let's get started. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna draw out the cats using a pencil, and we're gonna draw them nice and light. So you're gonna start with one very light little triangle right here, the top corner, yeah. Then you come across and do another little triangle. And then we're gonna draw the head. So you're just gonna to wanna to have a small arch here for the head. Yeah, stop there. And then this other line, I want you to draw it more straight down. Okay, and stop. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna draw a little shoulder shape here. So that's just another little arch. Okay, stop there. And actually you wanna stop a little higher up. So you wanna stop about here, and then you're gonna come down. So then watch what I do with my pencil here. I'm gonna come around and that's gonna form his bum. So this one's a little more arched. So starting from where I showed you there, you come around. Yeah, uh, even further. So you're gonna wanna come, I'll show you where to start. You start here, then I want you to end here. So you're gonna kinda come around. Perfect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the other head. So this head, this ear is actually gonna cross over in front of this ear. So you're gonna draw a triangle that connects with this triangle. See how I have the two kinda butting up to each other? Yeah, and then you're gonna wanna come around like this. So you want a little space between the two heads. Yeah, that head might be a little bit small, so we're gonna actually come all the way down like that. And then we're gonna do another arch over and another ear. Okay, and then you're gonna come all the way down, and you wanna meet, see where this head ends? We wanna meet where that head ends. Yeah, just like that. And then we're gonna draw the body that goes to about this point. So it's just shy of right here. Okay, and then we're showing a bit of leg here, so we're gonna have this come out. So just another little arch. And then it's gonna, yeah, and it's level with this part here. So now we're gonna draw the two shoulders. So this is where the shoulders meet. So one goes like this, and then one goes like this. Like a diamond. Exactly, a diamond shape. And then because these cats are kind of smooshed together, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a little bit of a wavy line like that. Draw nice and light. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the tails together now. So this tail, we're gonna draw the back tail first. So we wanna have these two lines come together till we have a small gap in between. Okay, and then we're gonna draw one tail that comes up like this. And it's wider at the base and it gets smaller as it gets down. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the other tail and this one's gonna cross over. So it's gonna go over like this. And you're gonna see that there's still a line going through it. We'll erase that right at the end, so. My tail got a little bit wonky there. This yeah. eraser just wants to leave stuff on the page, so that's okay. We can erase it after. And you want it to get nice and big at the base, yeah. And then you want this bum to kind of come around and meet the other one. All right, so one of these cats is gonna be lighter and one is gonna be darker, all right? So we're gonna start with the lighter one first because with watercolor, it's always easiest to go lighter and then add darker. So you wanna start out by getting your brush nice and wet and getting the color you want wet. So in this case, we're actually gonna make this, put a little bit of yellow on this cat. So we're gonna start with the yellow, yellow color. So you wanna get, you wanna smush your yellow watercolor first. So 
rub it around in there until your color gets nice and strong. And then I want you to rinse off your brush again. Rinse it off really good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of clear water on the left hand side of the cat. So just on the side here. See how I'm only going about halfway down with clear water? Halfway through the cat? It's a little bit yellow, but that's okay. All right, and even go further in. So all the way till about here. See where I'm going till? Get it nice and wet. All right, so that's good. So then I want you to take a bit of yellow on your brush. And then what I want you to do is just on the left-hand side, I want you to color in the just the left-hand side of the cat, just like that. And if you run out, you can add a little more if you need. And then what I want you to do is take more clear water. And then see where the neck is right here? I want you to draw a line like this. Yeah. And then I'm going to get you to take a tiny bit of pink. Just a very small amount right on the tip of your brush. And then I want you to draw a line right here. Just like that. No, it's okay. Just go with it. And then if you have too much, you can always take a little bit off after with the paper towel. That looks good. And then what I want to do is do another one right down here. We're going to add a little water if you're out, but if your paper's still wet, you can leave it. So if your paper's still wet, what we're going to do is take a little bit of the pink and we're going to come up like this. So we're going to have a little bit of pink here. So it should go all the way down. See, I have it all the way down to the tail. And you can use your paper towel to make sure you're monitoring how much water you put on the paper. So I like to dab it on the paper towel if I find I have too much water. Mm -hmm. Alright. And don't worry about the little spots because we'll do some splatters at the end anyway. Alright, so now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to make the ears just a little bit darker. So I'm going to take a little bit of orange. You can use pink or orange, whatever color you like and a very light amount, and I'm just gonna add a little bit on the ears. Just like that. Just to make them a little more rat rainbow. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna go do the other cat. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to do the other little cat. So for this side, we're gonna be actually filling in the whole thing with clear water, just like, do you remember those galaxy paintings we did? Yeah. A while ago, so it's gonna be the same technique. You wanna make sure that you're leaving this part of the tail white. So you're gonna have dark here. So for the first layer, we're just actually just gonna go right up to here, okay? So right up to where this tail ends. Oh, do I have your brush? I think so. There you go. All right, so let's fill it in to start. Fill it in. And just be careful to stay in the lines because that's pretty important for this part. Sometimes we want to be careful not to stay in the lines, it depends. And you want to have clear water absolutely everywhere. And that's what's going to help it bleed all the way around. Once you've filled it all in, you almost there? Mm -hmm. The painting does dry pretty fast, so might have to re-wet certain parts as we go, but we'll see. All right, so then I want you to take your darkest blue, make sure you got a nice amount of water on it and really smush it around in the dark blue. And then I want you to do, go, just follow along with me. I'm gonna start at the ears here, and I'm just gonna kinda do around it. So I'm not doing everywhere, I'm just kinda outlining it just like this with the tip of the brush. 
Yep, that's okay. It's hard to have too much color with these because you want them to be nice and dark. And I'm gonna take a little bit of purple as well. And I'm gonna come around, see where all this side is. I want you to make this all purple. It looks really nice with that pink. And just kind of keep working around until you've filled in the whole cat with blue and purple and light blue paint. Does that make sense? So I like to keep the dark a little, the out, sorry, the outside a little bit darker. And then I like to add the lighter blue on the inside. So I'll sometimes drop little dots of that around the inside. And I'm just kind of continuing to add color as I make myself, make my way around it. So it's gonna dry lighter. I don't know if you remember from the galaxy painting we did, but that one kept drying lighter. So sometimes you have to keep adding layers or keep adding watercolor as it dries. So you get that nice dark color. I'm gonna put a little bit of pink in mine because I feel like a little pink might look nice. Complement the other side where there's pink. Dots of blue now here and there. And so the key is to make sure you're not having a lot of water on it anymore, mostly just paint. So the way, the best way to do that is to dry off your brush. So I'll, see I get water on it, then I dry off my brush, and then I grab some of that really concentrated paint. This one you don't need to put clear water down first, you can just fill it in. Oopsies, I've got to do the tail. That's okay. If you just fill it in with blue, that would work, work well. All right, so for the last part, I want you to use a thin brush, so use this little thin brush right here okay. and we're gonna do some outlines on the other cat to give it a bit more shape so what I want you to do is take a nice red color I might already need to wet. That's I might. Okay. so you just take your bigger brush to wet it and then we smush it around with the bigger brush because it gives you more control to smush it with your big brush all right so now we take a bit of red and I want you to just lightly as light as you can I want you to get outline the other cat with a nice strong red. Just on the one side. Yeah, nice and light like that, that's great. And I went all the way up to where the other ear. Yeah, all the way up to there. Just being careful not to touch your other cat. Okay, and then I want you to take some purple. And you want, um, yeah, very, not very watery purple. So you wanna, the way you get it less watery is to actually pull from like the side of your purple. And then what I want you to do is come around and do the tail here. So it's gonna come up and overlap. And then come around this side of the tail and kind of outline it there. I forgot to do the pink in the tail a little bit. So I'm That's just okay. Do that. All right. So then I want you to do this side here too with the purple. So where the cat's heads meet together. And I'm even doing up here by the ears. So no rush, just whenever you get to it. I did this part up to here. Above. 
And then I want you to also do this tail. So where it comes over and overlaps, we're gonna do that too. All right, and then I did, I think it would look good if we just had a little bit of a very, as light as you can get, a line right here. Just where the neck crease would be. And not all the way, just, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. All right, and then, because this isn't fully dry, now would be a good time to go add a tiny bit more color there. So even if you want to add a little more of the dark blue, just make sure it dries nice and dark. So if it's in the places where it's still wet, just add a little bit more color. So I go back in and I add more while it's still wet and that way it still kind of bleeds around. And that way some of it will look a lot darker than other parts. Just around the edges mostly. All right, so now we're gonna let it dry and then we'll do the finishing touches. All right, so for the last layer, we're gonna do a few little types of splatters. So we're gonna use this toothbrush here and I'll show you how to do mine first and then I'll let you go kind of crazy with it too. And so you want to make sure that you have a toothbrush like this, something kind of old you have lying around. This one doesn't have much give left in it, it's pretty dirty. But we get the toothbrush nice and wet. And that way the paint lets go really easily. And then what we're going to do is add some white paint to the tip of it. And then using our thumb, we're going to spray the white dots all over it. So you make your way back from the front of the toothbrush to the back spraying the white dots. And if you get white dots other places in the cat, that's okay. Uh -oh. That one was a really big white dot, so we're actually gonna soak that one up. Cause we don't want any, that looks like a moon in the middle of the cat. Yeah. All right, so that's all I wanna have for that. So I'll let you um, dry it off a little cause we don't want too much. All right, so let's see if you can do some stars. I think that's it. Yeah, that should be good. Well, however's comfortable if you want to use, yeah, if you want to use your finger, that's okay. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. All the way over it. That's kind of fun, hey? His finger's all dirty. All right, so you put the toothbrush down and you can use the paper towel to wipe off your hands because we're going to do the other kinds of splatters now. So for these, I want to do some blue ones that go on the outside of the cat. So I was going to do a little bit of blue here and over here as well. So if you want to have your brush quite wet, quite wet before you get the blue paint. And then using one hand or two hands, just add a few splatters on the outside. And some of them can touch on the cat as well. And then I'm going to do a few on the left hand side as well. Yep, and do some on the cat too. That works. Not too many. And I think that looks good. I think we should sign them now. So I like to use a little brush like this. And I'm going to use some of the color that's already in the painting. I'm going to make my signature pink. And I'll put it right down here. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you hit subscribe, you can be notified when I do other videos just like this one. And if you enjoyed painting along with Shayla and I, be sure to hit the like button below. Thank you so much for watching.